Hi guys, welcome to another video tutorial this week looking at AutoCAD for Mac specifically. So there have been a few people in class who've been struggling with layers, line weights and colors of lines. Things not plotting in monochrome or black and white as they're supposed to be. And also just dealing with layers in, in particular in Mac. So, first thing we want to do is get out your layers tab. If you don't have it out already, just type in layers, press enter and it will come out. It's already there for me. So this is your normal layers. It should sit on the side over here, sort of out of the way. Uh, you can choose which layer you're working in at the time and whatever you change that top one to is the actual layer we're working in. So we can see it's coming out in that color cyan while we're working there. If I were to change it, it would come out at a different color. Uh, and the importance of this is that you're working in the thickness of line that you want the final print to come out as. So you need to be in the habit of knowing that things in the background, are things that are light like tiles and furnishings and things like that, should be set at a very low or light line weight and things that are in the foreground or things that are cut should be in a heavy one, line weight. But we'll go through that a little bit more in a moment. Now, this is your thin layers tab from here and this is your properties inspector. Both of these should be up all the time while you're operating in AutoCAD. Let's grab out the layers tab here so we've got a little bit more room while we're talking. We can put it back in a second. Now there's a few things going on here in your layers tab. As we said before, this top layer up here is the dominant layer that we're working in at the time. So changing that means changing the lines that will come up on your screen. Now when we're working in the office, depending what office you're working in, uh, we like to have everything that we work on has its own layer, style, color, etc. line weight. So, for example, annotations, balustrade, cabinetry, uh, furnishings, patches, ground points, all sorts of things. You name it, there's a layer for it with its own color, line weights, and um, line styles. But for you guys, what I like to do is just to set out layers that are named by their line weights. Because you're only going to need a few of them just so that you can cover the basic drawings. Because you're really not dealing with the complexity of all these things just yet. So 0 0.05, 0 0.09, 0 0.15, 0 0.18, 0 0.25 and you might add 0 0.35 for things like thick ground lines and section and stuff like that. Now some people like to have a color gradient going from say red to through to purple, like a rainbow, that follows along with the thickness of the line so you know that if you're at one end of the spectrum of the color you're working in thin lines and if you're at the other end you're working in thick lines. But for today, for today I've just got a few colors. Now how to set your color and do all these things comes over here in the properties manager on the right. So I've clicked on here for example 0.05 we look over here to the right and this tells us everything we need to know about this layer. So its name is 0.05 we can change that easily if we want to. It's on at the moment, we're going to keep that on. Uh, we can freeze it or we can lock it. You guys don't necessarily need to know what this is doing at the moment, but if, for example, you can't draw or some layers aren't turning up or things like these, just double check that you haven't accidentally frozen or locked a layer in here. So you can see I've just locked that layer. 0.05 and these lines, the yellow lines have gone dull, whereas if I turn it off they'll brighten back up again. So if for some reason you can't access your lines or something weird is happening, just double check your layers dialog box and make sure there's nothing going on over here. The same thing, this last one on the right is the do not plot button. Uh, so you might have guidelines or uh, random measurement lines that you don't want in your final drawing but they're in your sheet uh, for your assistance so they might not be plotted so that's why this option is here uh, but sometimes students accidentally turn this on on layers that they do want to be on their final drawing so if something is missing from your final PDF or your final drawing just come back to your layers box and double check that you haven't accidentally turned that one on. Cool, so back over here to the properties inspector on the right you can change the color here, 
if you want to select more colors, you can press select color and you've got a full range of colors through there. Select a line type continuous, just means it's one solid line. You can bring dashed lines, you can bring batting, long dashed, all sorts of things. Once you click on dashed, then you can change the, um, oh that's, sorry, that's um, later on, we won't need to go through that today, so go back to continuous, but in your layer property when you're drawing, you can actually change the thickness, or should I say the spaces, the gaps between the dashes, uh, but we don't need that for today, you can change the line weights here, so this is the important one for you today. 0 0.05, 0 0.09, 0 0.15, 0 0.18, and 0 0.25. Those are the five that you should be dealing with in most of your drawings. That's a nice, clean, and subtle set of drawings that you'll come out with there that look great when they've been printed out of PDF Photoshop or Illustrator. We do want these to plot, we don't want it to freeze, any of that sort of stuff. So this is your layers box, and in the properties inspector is how we can change all the different things that are going on within there. So that is your layers. Now let's just bring that back over here, and that's going to sit nicely in properties inspector. Okay, so now there's a few people who've been struggling with their page printing out in color uh, for some reason, even though they wanted to go in black and white. So. Let's have a look at some of the layouts that we've got at the moment. So we've got these layouts that we can see are clearly black and white, but this one is in colour. So let's have a look at the black and white ones. All of the drawings are there. And even though the original drawing over here is in colour, it's showing black and white on the layout. So that's exactly what we want to happen, but this one is not working. So let's have a closer look at what this drawing is doing. So this is what some students are experiencing. Their line weights are coming up color even though they want them to print black and white. So how we fix this is this. Bring up that little crosshair again. We go right click, edit page setup. Then we want to make sure a few things are in place. So let's change this to A3. We want to be working in one to one millimeters. Scale line weights, yes. Uh, we want to be plotting on none, that's fine for now. We can go monochrome, so it might say print as displayed or AutoCAD CTB when you first start this up. We want this to be monochrome CTB. When I click yes to print plot styles and yes to display plot styles, make sure both of those are checked. Quality at maximum, we do want, we do want to have object line weights, transparencies and um, paper space last. The transparencies allows you, if you have different opacities on your fills and hatches, uh, it can look quite good on your drawing. So make sure all those things are checked. Particularly these ones are important for you guys right now. Monochrome, print with plot styles, display plot styles. Click OK. Everything's come up there now. Beautiful. We are now in black and white. You can see different line thicknesses when we zoom in from the thinnest, uh, medium, all the way to the thickest here around the edge. Great, so beautiful, we're now in monochrome. So a few people might still be struggling from this point. I'm gonna come over to the right, make sure nothing is selected, press escape a few times, it should say cancel under there so nothing is clicked. Uh, come over to properties inspector, down here at plot style table, make sure it's got monochrome selected. For some reason it might not have transferred over when we did that just before, so make sure it's monochrome is selected. Then you want to click and select the outside edge of the drawing and you want to make sure shade plot is set as, as displayed instead of shades and grays. So some people change this thinking that it's going to make their drawings black and white. Don't do that. Make sure it just says as displayed. And those two things should result in a black and white drawing. So let's test that. So Command P. We're at PDF, A3, 1 to 1 millimeters, everything looks good, scale line weights, let's preview that. Okay, preview, beautiful, that's our PDF, we can see our grayscale, we can see transparencies, everything's black and white monochrome, beautiful. Okay, now we're ready to go and plot this, so we go PDF, save as PDF, and we can save it wherever we want, and that is where our drawing to PDF is going to be. And that's how it's done guys. So that's this video tutorial. If there are any further questions or if you're still struggling to get your line weights to plot how you want them to, by all means, please let me know during class. 
uh, or via email and we can have another look at it together and if need be we can make another video tutorial for everyone. Hope you've had fun guys, see you very soon, cheers.